over the years, many people have captured the scooter scene on, on film. In the old days, it would have been a, maybe a dirty video camera. I don't think up until now anyone has captured the scene in a way that you're trying to do with your film. There's, there's people that have sort of documented it from afar, but not anybody who's taken the time to understand what actually is going on here. Speaking to people and asking what they're doing, how they're doing it, why they're doing it. We're just looking for something what kind of is an interpretation of, of our scene. It's very difficult to then, for anyone to kind of work that out and then put it into film. I think the scene really needs a good documentary with people from the scene having a word. It's about documenting a part of British youth culture that's, that's been unrecognised. The scooter boy kind of world of scooter. It's, it's bigger than any kind of 60s mod, mod thing or the mod revival in the late 70s. In the 80s, there's, you know, 10,000 scooters at events. For such an underground scene, it's been going a long time and it's probably one of the biggest. And certainly deserves a bit more interest from the general public because they still don't know who we are. A cross-section of so many different tribes and cultures within kind of youth culture, but all it all seems to work. It'd be nice to go back in a few years' time and see the images from today and listen to the people who've been doing it for far longer than I have. Like any youth culture, if nobody does it, it will disappear.